Hey everybody, this is Laird of Garth's Cotton. Today I want to make a video about this guy, um, Justin McCarthy, or excuse me, Dr. Justin McCarthy. He um, is a professor of history at the University of Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And what I'm going to be talking about today is this book that I got in the mail um, not an hour ago or so. It's just called The Ottoman Peoples and the end of empire. I'm trying to get the glare out of the way. Okay. It's published by Oxford University Press. It says so on the back. But when you open it up to the first page, you realize that it's not Oxford that's um, publishing it. It's actually a um, sort of a smaller company within Oxford or something called Hodder Arnold. It's some something that I've never heard of. It's it's called a member of the Hotter Headline Group. So okay, interesting, right? Um, this is a guy who denies the Armenian genocide, by the way. So, one more thing I want to get through. So, what's the first thing you do when you look at a what is supposed to be a scholarly work? What do you do first? First, you check to see you check his footnotes. Or you check his citations, basically. So let's do that really quickly here. Oh, I, I'm just flipping through here, just flipping through the text. Oh no, there are no footnotes anywhere. There's no, there are no like little hypertext numbers that refer to something at the end. There, there are no footnotes, basically. Okay, well that's not enough to say that this isn't a scholarly work because they don't have footnotes. Some scholarly works have citations or end notes that they put at the end of their work and that's just like these are my references there you go so what do you do now okay well if that didn't work let's start from the back let's see okay first we got okay index yeah that's pretty normal mm -hmm. okay suggested readings uh oh this is starting to look pretty bad this has never happened to me before what do you? Oh my God! You know what? Justin McCarthy puts himself down twice in suggested readings, so he clearly thinks very highly of himself. No, we don't have um, yeah, we don't have Dadrian or Tanner Akcham or anybody who's you know very very well known. So pretty interesting. Okay, let's keep flipping. Let's see if let's see his citations. Right, suggested readings. There might be citations before that. Right. Huh? What? This is... What? 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 Oh, this is... Okay, I need to show you this now. Okay, look at this. This chapter is called Notes. Uh-oh. Four chapters? Four chapters on one page. What? Second page. Oh my. What? 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 That's his entire book right there. Eleven chapters. That's all the citations he has. And these aren't citations. These are notes. And some of some of them are like from the Great Britain Public Record Office, Foreign Office 371. And it looks very official. Yeah, great. And this this first note in chapter one is the name Anatolia, or Asia Minor, is used here to describe the region that is today Asiatic Turkey. What? This is not a historical work. This is not scholarly. This is not nearly enough footnotes for the things that he's trying to, to prove here. Now, let me show you a real scholarly work. This, by the way, the Ottoman Peoples and the End of uh, Empire, that book, copyright 2001, just so you know. This is a scholarly work, okay? United States Policy Toward the Armenian Question, the Armenian Genocide by Simon Payazlian, okay? Let me get this up here. All right. He also does the notes thing, so that's why I, I use him. So let's look at his. Uh, automatically, he, he pretty much has more footnotes on the first page. And this is just the first chapter. Now, just just watch. Bear with me here. Okay. First chapter. Let's see that's in there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's 
good. The notes, uh, the notes, what is this? The notes are still going. What? Oh, that's the second chapter, right there. Yeah, okay, now let's just hurry this up here. Yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Footnote, 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 footnote. And that is starting the bibliography. Holy cow, he's got a bibliography section. It's getting really technical now. Now he's got articles, and he's got PhD dissertations. He's, he's, he's got this really well lined up. And then he has his index. I hope you all could hear that. I had to put my mic down for that. Okay, this book, United States Policy Towards the Armenian Question and the Armenian Genocide, all right, this is 260 pages. And the Ottoman peoples and end of Ottoman Empire is 240 pages. So they're about the same size. And they address, you know, pretty specific, well, this, this doesn't sp uh, address very specific things. I mean, it's very general, obviously. The other one addresses economic policy the United States has towards um, the Ottoman Empire. Which, and you know what? This guy here, Simon Payaslian, he actually writes less. He doesn't have uh, nearly as much written text down because, like, look at this. Nearly, I would say about 30% of this book is the footnotes section, is, is his notes section. Okay, so this guy basically writes more and cites less. That is not scholarly work. Now, let me tell you why I have this book in the first place. UK Loy, the guy I was complimenting before, sent me a speech by Dr. Justin McCarthy. Um, it's entitled Armenian-Turkish Conflict, and it's a speech he gave to the Turkish Grand National Assembly on March 24, 2005. And in it, um, I was reading through it, and a lot of what he was saying was actually corroborating with all the stuff that I w had already read. So I was like, wow, this guy sounds like an interesting guy. Um, I guess I'll check him out. So I, I bought his book, and oh, what a disappointment. Now, to make sure, to make sure that I, I wasn't you know, just bullshitting myself, I took this book to my professor in history. He's helping me with my directed studies on the Armenian Genocide. And I said, without knowing anything about what this is about, could you flip through this and tell me what you think? So what does he do? First he gets he goes to the footnotes and he goes, Oh, this is horrible. What and he, he there was a student just before me who was writing a paper that was like that thin on World War Two or something. Uh and he said that that student that just went out had more footnotes than this guy in his little fifteen page paper. That's pretty sad, right? And he said, Who the hell is Hotter Arnold, the publisher? He's never heard of it. My professor of history has never heard of Hotter Arnold. What's wrong, with Justin McCarthy? You couldn't get you know a really good publisher to publish your book. Yeah, I wonder why, because it's a piece of crap. So he flipped through it, and, and my professor said, "This is a this is a horrible book. I can't believe that this doctor, this PhD in history, was able to publish this book." And I told him he published lots of books that deny the Armenian genocide, just like this. It was terrible. Now I want to end with this little bit. In his own speech, he says, you know, I, I openly praise Dr. Tanner Akcham. He's written so many books that are very historical, at least as scholarly as Simon Payaslian, okay? This is what he says. A historian first discovers what actually happened, thank you, thank you, then tries to explain the reasons. An ideologue, which is basically somebody who believes in ideals over facts, forgets the process of discovery. He assumes that what he believes is correct, then constructs a theory to explain it. The work of Taner Akcham is an example of this. He first, ex he first accepts completely the beliefs of the Armenian nationalists. He then constructs an elaborate sociological theory claiming that genocide was the result of Turkish history and the Turkish character. This sort of analysis is like a house built on a foundation of sand. The house looks good, but the first strong wind knocks it down. In this case, the strong wind that destroys the theory is the force of truth. Justin McCarthy, Brother, here's what I have to say to you. Like this, song? this is Laird of Garskaden signing out.
little do you think they'll try to break my balls? <laughs>